Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie with Cookbook Divas and I'm very excited to look through Cook Real Hawaii with you. It's by Sheldon Simeon with Garrett Snyder. I have not cooked or baked, it, baked anything out of this cookbook yet. I just grabbed it from the library and I'm going to look through it for the first time here with you. I've heard so many good things about this cookbook. Uh, he's a two-time Top Chef finalist and he decided to drop what he thought he was supposed to cook as a chef and dedicated himself instead to the local Hawaii food that feeds his ohana, his family and his neighbors. This book has uncomplicated flavor forward recipes and he shows us the many cultures that have come together to create the cuisine of his beloved home, the native Hawaiian traditions, Japanese influences, Chinese cooking techniques, and dynamic Korean Portuguese and Filipino flavors that are closest to his heart. So there's the author. Let's take a peek inside. We'll look at the table of contents. We'll maybe check out the introduction a little bit and we'll look at the photos. This is going to make us all want to take a trip to Hawaii, right? Sheldon Simeon. Contents. Heavy poopoos, hibachi styling, fry action, sim simmer, Rice and noodles, looking forward to that chapter. Mean greens, looking forward to that one too. Sweets and drinks, odds and ends. And then at the back, an ingredient guide and mahalos at the very back. And of course, an introduction, his story, a brief history of Hawaii and how to use this book. So I'm going to skip past the introduction. But I do have to point out this gorgeous picture of Hawaiian shave ice. And it's just, you can own a shave ice maker in your home, it's never the same as Hawaiian shave ice. How to use this book. And, oh, I see some recipes. Okay. Oh, I really want to travel. Heavy poopoos. So heavy poopoos will be served when you see those words printed on an invitation to a grad celebration, a birthday, or a good old fashioned luau, you know to bring your appetite. Any self-respecting event in Hawaii is going to include poopoos, but heavy poopoos is the top level. It means a spread of appetizers so bountiful and grand that you could graze like a gazelle on the vast savanna until completely stuffed. No need to eat dinner first. <laughs> that is a lot. Okay, good info. So here is the first recipe of the book, which is shoyu dip with sesame crunch giant picture and an introduction to where he serves it where he got the idea what to do with it next up a kimchi dip no picture kamaboko dip no picture and then boiled peanuts with oxtail sauce i don't know what oxtail oh spice okay i thought it said sauce Phew. boiled peanuts i've had before love them bug juice with prosciutto dust and i hope they don't use any bugs in the recipe apple cider vinegar show you Light brown sugar, black pepper, prosciutto dust, sliced fruit. Okay, whew, scared me. Uh, here's, oh, uh, ooh, crispy gao ghee with sh shoyu mustard. Excuse me, this cookbook is heavy. I'm trying not to drop it. I'll set up straighter. Uh, he's going through some of the influencers, native Hawaiians that inspire him. Here's a poke primer. Shoyu ahi poke, poke. Wok fried poke. I'm going to skip ahead. I wanted, oh my gosh, look at this. Maui flying saucers. They are made with a neutral oil, minced garlic, Korean chili flakes, ground beef, onion, celery, carrots, tomato paste, a can of condensed cream of mushroom soup, chili seasoning, kosher salt, butter, white bread, and American cheese. So it's like a grilled cheese sandwich, but like with amazing things on it. And I guess they use a specialty pan to make it look like that. Wow. Okay. Chicken liver mousse. Hibachi styling, the next chapter. Local style kalbi. Terry beef sticks, but there's no picture. Chicken barbecue. Stuffed uhu with lap chiang. I don't know what some of those words are, and if I mispronounce them, I'm sorry, I've never heard them. Huli huli chicken, charred fish 
hangover soup <laughs> and smoked meat with guava jelly and broccolini. Gonna skip ahead to another chapter. Fry action. Okay, here comes some good fried food. Tin roof pork belly, mochiko fried chicken, crispy pata, whatever that is. Let's find out what that is, I'm curious. Pork leg, okay. Pocho steamed clams with Portuguese sausage. Let's skip ahead a little bit more. Ooh, what's this? I have to go backwards to find out. Katsu sauce. Oh, that's cauliflower katsu curry. Oh, wow. Coconut shrimp. Now we're in the Sim Simmer chapter. Beef shank a la oxtail soup. Cold ginger chicken. Black bean truffle paste and ginger scallion relish. Ooh. Portuguese bean soup. I would love to make that. I would make it vegetarian. Local style beef stew. Sweet and sour spare ribs. Gonna skip ahead a little. Pork and peas. Mahi mahi luau. Deluxe lau lau. I think I see some banana leaves. Now we're in the rice and noodles chapter. Rice, fried rice is my boyfriend's favorite meal. He'll do it with pork or shrimp or even vegetable. Here's chicken hekka. And is that baby corn? What is that? Mushrooms, glass noodles, sesame oil, chicken thighs, brown sugar, onion, baby corn. Okay. Here's something called hoppin' wan <laughs> instead of hoppin' john. That's funny. Um, ooh. Is that Hawaiian ramen? It looks like it. Dry main breakfast fried rice. That would be a great breakfast. Fried garlic noodles. That's what I want to have for dinner tonight. Loco moco gravy rice. Chicken or turkey arroz caldo. Pohole salad. Sweet onion dressing and kimchi peanuts. And what's this? Maui kale salad with sweet onion dressing. Mm, okay, I'm not a kale fan, but I would eat that. Filipino okra salad. Grilled din and ding. Not sure what that is. Salt lemon broccolini with fried garlic. Yum. Condensed milk cheesecake with Ovaltine crust. Are we in desserts? Chocolate birthday cake with bitter mochi. Oh, butter mochi. Okay, I was like, bitter? No, it's your birthday. Prune mui. And Portuguese sweet rolls. Oh, yes, yum. Furikake, making your own. Making your own Portuguese pickled onions. Brassica kimchi. And coconut candy. I don't want to spoil the book, the rest of the book for you. Wow, that is very unusual. I can't wait to dive in and try some of these. Thanks for watching this cookbook look through with Cookbook Divas. That was Cook Real Hawaii.